What is up everybody, welcome back to another episode on EI Entertainment Studios, back at it with another debate episode. Today's debate episode, we're going to be talking about Mechagodzilla 2021 versus Megatron. Now here's the plan folks, we're going to go over the backstories of these two giant creatures, and once we're done analyzing them, we're going to put them up against each other in a death battle. So without further ado, let's begin with the analyzation of Mechagodzilla. So, Mechagodzilla was created by Apex Cybernetics and powered through King Ghidorah's cut-off head. However, Ghidorah's consciousness takes over the robot and completely controls it. Now, for the abilities, we're going to do a quick skim. We're going to finish off Mechagodzilla and we'll come back and do a deep analysis, so do not worry. So for now, just a quick skim. So, goes as follows, Buzzsaw Claws, Heavy Metal Durability, Missiles, Proton Scream, Thrusters, and finally, Tail Drill. Alright. Territory level is none, Aggression level is maximum, Biome is Earth, and Height is approximately 119.8 meters tall. Alright, so with that being said, let's go back to the abilities and let's do a deep analysis. So, first we have the buzzsaw claws. So basically, near the claws, there are these saws, very similar to Gigan. Obviously, Gigan is on the chest, but it's just the kind of comparison. Just like that, those are saws, and you can use to basically saw down buildings, or even saw in the flesh of opponents and just rip them apart. So, it's not the most powerful ability that Mechagodzilla opposes, but, you know, to an opponent, but in this case, it's definitely a good ability to fend off opponents or even just defend himself on a face-to-face -face encounter. So with that being said, moving on is next Heavy Metal Durability, and this is mainly a defensive ability, you know, it's just basically his makeup, pure steel, and it's basically very difficult to break him apart. It I mean, we saw in the film Godzilla vs. Kong, it needed two giant, fully grown kaijus to take down Mechagodzilla 2021. So that's a great example of what this means, heavy metal durability. He is a very durable robot. Moving on, we have missiles. So these are probably one of the most weakest abilities that Mechagodzilla opposes. And these are just, just, just regular missiles that he shoots, and the biggest, you know, point of them is just to confuse his opponents or just to kind of fend them off as much as possible so he can recover or do a counter attack it's nothing that's gonna hurt opponent right it's nothing that's no way gonna hurt an opponent in any way it's just to fend them off confuse them startle them whatever you wanna say that's what the missiles are there for but we move on to the next one now this one is meant to kill opponents known as the proton scream it's basically a recreation of Godzilla's atomic breath, it's pure red, and it's a more focused and highly energized atomic breath. So it's more powerful than Godzilla's, like I should say the real Godzilla's atomic breath, right? And we see when Godzilla shoots the atomic breath towards Mechagodzilla in the film, Mechagodzilla's atomic breath overpowers Godzilla's atomic breath, so therefore it is stronger and more powerful and more focused, meaning it's more hot, more nuclear, it's just overall extremely powerful. Now, continuing with that, we then have the thrusters. Now the thrusters are basically rockets near his legs, and basically what you can do is you can use that to just leap and just use that to ram into his opponents or just run away from his opponents too. So it could be used as offensive and defensive. It's basically a rocket type of thing where he shoots and then he just just rams into the opponent, right? That's how he did it to, you know, his opponents in the film God's Lovers Kong, thrust and just super punch, right? So that's how he does that. And then finally we have the tail drill. At the end, or I should say the tip of his tail, he has a drill and he can basically use that to drill into his opponent's flesh and completely rip them up. And he almost got one of them last time, but unfortunately, it didn't happen in the film. Spoilers, so I'm not going to continue more if you haven't seen God's Lover's Kong. You probably should by now, but, you know, who knows. 
Anyways, that is going to sum up Mechagodzilla 2021. With that being said, let's move on to Megatron. So, Megatron is a leader of the Decepticons. When the Fallen corrupted Megatron and made him believe that the Allspark should belong to him specifically, a war broke out between his side and Optimus Prime and his Autobot. So I'm kind of going over the basic beginning of Megatron. I'm not trying to go in too in-depth and you'll see why, because we're just, we're just trying to go over the abilities and fighting power between these two opponents. Now, the height of Megatron is accepted to be around 9.1 meters tall, preferably to say in feet is somewhere around 30 feet. Abilities, we're going to do a quick skim, same thing, and then we'll come back. Superhuman strength and durability, movement at very high speeds, deadly combat skills, uh, he can shoot free shells, missiles, and nuclear blasts. Territorial level is low, aggression level is maximum, biome is earth and space. Alright folks, let's go back to the abilities and let's do a deep analysis. So, first we have the superhuman strength and durability. Basically, it's again very similar to Mecha Godzilla's makeup. The the material that he's made out of gives him superhuman strength and durability. He has strength that overpowers almost anything on the planet, and he's very durable. He can take damage and continue fighting on, and that gives him superhuman strength and durability. Next, we have movement at very high speeds. He is faster than most jets, and he is basically super fast. So imagine getting rammed by this robot. It's going to, if you're not strong enough, rip you to pieces. We could even say, more harshly, shred you to pieces, right? So that's very good. He can use that as combat, as in an offensive technique, or even defensive, right? If he can move at very high speeds, he can get away from a deadly situation fairly quickly. And he can attack an opponent fairly quickly as well. So he goes both ways. Now, his combat skills are known to be deadly. He is very good. He knows martial arts. He knows how to kick, to punch, to dodge, to counter. You know, martial arts in the sense of a robot, but you get what I mean. His combat skills are very deadly, very powerful, and very advanced. He can shoot free shells. He can shoot missiles, and he can also shoot nuclear blasts. I chose the most, uh, more powerful abilities of him, and so this is what I go on with. And then, so, that is going to basically sum up both of these two creatures. We call them creatures, we can call them robots, whatever floats your boat. Now, let's go into what we've all been waiting for, the death battle. Now, this is what we're going to do. Close range and Far range. Now, what does that mean? The reason why we do close range and far range, specifically far range, is to test these opponents out at limited abilities. It's a very great way of testing them out, literally, because some of their opponents are gonna lose some abilities. And we're trying to see if the other opponent can survive, or even the, the main opponent, right, either, either of them, can survive this battle with limited abilities. It's a very good way of testing them out. And then, uh, close range is just face to face. So, we, let's begin with far range and these are the rules. They must be, I repeat, they must be 700 meters apart. That means there is absolutely zero physical contact. No physical contact whatsoever. All right. So let's see what abilities they can or cannot use in terms of far range, which, which is going to allow for no physical contact. So let's actually start with Megatron, and let's see what abilities he can or cannot use. Okay, so when it comes to superhuman strength and durability, Obviously, for this one, it's going to be, you know, this is one of the, the more difficult ones to choose because he can use his offensive and defensive. So just because he can use his defensive will allow it in the spectrum of a defensive side, okay? So he can use this in the defensive side. Moving at very high speeds, it's again the same scenario in this case. 
he can't move at high speeds to attack his opponent physically, but what he can do is he can move at high speeds to evade the opponent. So he can use this as a offensive, or I should say, it, well, he can use his offensive in a way to trick the opponent, right? But it can also use that defensive to run away, but he can't use it in a way where he can actually hit the opponent physically. That would not be okay. So if, hopefully that makes sense. Next we have deadly combat skills. That is absolutely not going to be allowed because that requires 100% physical contact. So that is no bueno for that one. So he cannot use that. Now with that being said, Shoot free shells, missiles, and nuclear blasts will all be allowed because they are actually meant to go far distance. So that is fine to be used. All right, folks. Now let's move on to Mecha Godzilla 2021. Let's see what abilities he can or cannot use. So, with that being said, so, first we have Buzz Saw Claws. Obviously, that's going to be a big no. That requires physical contact, so absolutely not. Okay. Next, we have Heavy Metal Durability. Again, that's defensive, so that's going to be okay. Missiles, yes. Proton Scream, of course you can use that. Thrusters, only defensive. Only defensive. And Tail Drill, absolutely not, because that requires physical contact. Okay. That being said, from far distant, I believe, I personally believe, because how ferocious King Ghidorah is, and he's the one who controls Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla, even obviously both of these are uh, villains. I believe Mecha Godzilla is more evil than Megatron. Again, you can debate me in the comment section below if you don't believe that, but that's my personal opinion. So therefore, I believe Mecha Godzilla will be the first one to attack Megatron. Now vice versa. So, with that being said, I believe Mecha Godzilla will use a Proton Scream and that will heavily, and I mean heavily, damage Megatron with the Proton Scream, including the missiles. Now, the missiles at itself are not really going to do any damage, but it's definitely going to cause some confusion to Megatron. And with that being said, obviously, with the whole issue of uh, the missiles not being too deadly, the Proton Scream will definitely cause a lot of damage because the Proton Scream and the size of Mecha Godzilla, he is 119.8 meters tall, and Megatron is simply somewhere around 30 feet tall. So the circumference of that Proton Scream is basically bigger than Megatron's whole body. So basically one hit from this Proton Scream, Megatron is unfortunately done. So as sad as it is, and it's the most shortest debate I've ever done, um, Megatron actually has no chance whatsoever after getting hit by the Proton Scream. So Clearly, Mecha Godzilla wins in terms of far range. Now, let's go to close range, where it's face to face, no limits, right? Now, face to face, we gotta take into consideration even more deeply. Mecha Godzilla is 119.8 meters tall, while Megatron is somewhere around 30 feet tall. And I'm just going to go forward with that, and I'm going to tell you all Mecha Godzilla needs to do is step on Megatron. That's all it is. Without being disrespectful to the character. And he won. As funny as that sounds, that's it. This is probably the shortest debate I've ever done. But Megatron has no chance. Absolutely no chance. Therefore... Mecha Godzilla will win 2-0, but just to you know make things interesting, this is how I see the fight happening. Mecha Godzilla will stand there, won't even see Megatron, won't even know he's being attacked. Megatron will, you know, shoot a missile, or even a nuclear blast, say, and Mecha Godzilla will feel an itch or a you know a some type of like a heat sensor will go off, 
and then basically what's gonna happen is he's gonna walk forward and just step on him and assuming he sees him proton scream and fried robots that's what we're dealing with a completely fried robot so with that being said the winner obviously stands to be Mechagodzilla and 2-0 you get to pay me in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and as always have a great and wonderful day